Senator Sani makes case for Nigeria president of South is extraction. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. As politicians from different parts of the country are declaring their interest publicly or secretly to contest for the office of the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Senator Shea Hussani has thrown his ways behind the call for a Nigerian president of South East extraction in 2023 general elections. Well, 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 about this, it is clear, it is glaring. Let's look at if you're coming from behind, behind, behind. If you're coming from behind, first of all, it was um, Lucia Gobasanjo. Yes, he was Lucia Gobasanjo, who was from the southwest region. Right? Who was from the southwest region? Okay. After that, we had Yaradwar. President, late President Yaradua, who actually was um, from the north, can say, can say he if he's actually, if he's actually, um, if he's actually from the northwest or northeast. Okay, uh, if he's from the northwest or not, is we have really, really not um that that show of of you know where he came from sincerely then we had them go like a jonathan who i think is from the south south region yes he was from the south south region then we know of um this sedent resident who is from the northwest if you look at all this you're going to find out that um, the South East Nigeria, they have not served. And I think also the North Central. The North Central too, I don't think. I don't think he's actually, even the North Central and the North Sea. This is where equity comes in. Oh. To be very sincere with you, this is where equity comes in. Yaradwa is from, I think, is from the northwest. He's also from Castina State. Sincerely. So what does that tell you? Even they're not themselves. We have to have a balancing. It is until we have a balancing. It is until we have a balancing. Now, I don't even blame Northerners that are coming out to contest for presidency. Sincerely. Because the North Central has also been left out. And also the North, um, the North East. It's high time we look at things from this way. It, is, it should no longer be the north and the south. No. The north is split into three geopolitical zones. The northwest. That means somebody coming can never, the next northern to rule can never come from the northwest. It should not happen. It should be coming from the northeast or north central. Also, the presidency should not even be coming from Okay, the south-south have gotten there. The southwest have gotten there. The south-south now the southeast. That's, this, this is just what we call equity. It's what we call equity. The, the, the thing is, a lot of things has to be done when we are going to be talking about this. A lot of things. To achieve this, first of all, you see the, that constitution? It should be trashed. There should be rotational presidency. One, this particular region has served their own term. They take it for them. That means... Nothing like coming out to say we want to. It will give everybody the opportunity to come in and do their best. And also when you're going to, when those particular people are going to be coming in, they will make sure you are representing your region. That means if you don't represent them, it is still the next time. That means you're going to be giving your best. Sincerely. It is only the right thing to do. You know, I just sat down and thought about it now. So everything should be fair. Everything should be equal. It is only fairness and justice and equity. That's, that is what most people who are coming from the, who are saying the South is presidency. We just hope that, you know, many Nigerians hear this and know that, see, it is not by, you know, North and South. No, if you are saying North and South, that means we have only two regions. We have six geopolitical zones in the country. And so those regions as well should be well represented. Okay, the news in detail, please stay with us. Speaking on channels, television, program,
Political paradigm aired on Tuesday morning. Sane said the Nigerian president of South is extraction is the most desirable in 2023 for the sake of justice, equity, and oneness. He argued that it will amount to injustice, lack of fairness, and insensitivity on the side of a northern and some part of southern Nigeria, like a southwest and south south geopolitical zones, to deny the southeast zone the opportunity to produce the next president of Nigeria after the tenure of President Muhammad Buhari in 2023. He said, Let us be careful in this country because the nation passed a terrible formation and it will be for the benefit of every part of Nigeria to pause courses which will promote national unity and cohesion. The fact still remains that since 1999, the Southwest has produced a president and vice president for eight years each. The South has produced president for six years, while the North has produced president Omaru, Musa Yaradwa, and Muhammad Buhari, respectively. So what is wrong if a South East geopolitical zone produced the next president of Nigeria in 2023? Sani, who was a former Senate committee chairman on local and foreign debt, and also served as a vice chairman on state committee on foreign affairs, insists that Nigeria will be unfair to Southeast geopolitical zone should another person from the northern region or southwest and south south deny the South is the chance to produce the next president of Nigeria in 2023. The human rights activist, playwright, and author who is eyeing the Kaduna State Government House in 2023 cautioned other parts of the country not to use their population on numerical strength to marginalize the less populated parts of Nigeria. According to him, only equity, justice, and oneness will make Nigeria be at peace. Pointing out that lack of fairness and justice are responsible for the spate of agitation and insecurity pervading the country. Sani, who is the president of the Civil Rights Congress of Nigeria, CRCN, and the chairman of Hand in Hand, Africa contested and won the Kaduna Central Senatorial District on the platform of the All Progressive Congress. APC on March 28, 2015. He resigned from the party. He is now of the opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP. Okay. The thing is, this man is saying the truth. Believe you me. It will be what I call equity, fairness, and justice will just allow it to happen. And then when it happens, the constitution needs to be root. I mean, we written. They should revise the constitution. They should trash this particular. It is not like amending. They cannot amend what people do not. What does not even stand for people in trust. This is high time we allow the right thing to happen, and of course, subsequently, we allow the right thing to happen. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen, and until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.